The 100th anniversary of Will Burton Company, still going strong. In 1894, the brothers John W. and Burton G. Cope opened a repair shop in East Greenville, Ohio. They used equipment discarded by other shops. The following year, they purchased the patent rights to the Cyclone drilling machine and began manufacturing this machine for the water well drilling industry. In 1901, they took on a new partner, William A. Chance, and moved to larger premises in Orville, Ohio. And in 1915, on the death of J.W. Cope, the company became Will Burt, using a name based on the first syllables of its founders. William Chance and Burton Cope. The company was incorporated in 1918 and they began to manufacture the Versa Vice in 1916 based on a 1901 patent granted to John Long of Springfield, Ohio. As you can see in these pictures, the jaws are much taller. The early ones, they were tall and in the uh, patent drawings as well, they're taller than the ones I have, so that must have changed. Here's some pictures of a very early one that a friend of mine has in England. You can note the uh, Japaning as well as the, uh, the change in the logo that's cast into it instead of inserted later. Here are the long jaws with the uh, wood placed in there. And uh, here's the newer logos. Hi, and welcome to the shop. Uh, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of history about the thing that we're going to talk about today, or I'm going to talk about. Um, I guess I shouldn't start thinking that you're talking back to me. It might put me away. But um, I want to talk to you about this vice that I got from my father when he passed away. I've had it for 30 some odd years, 35 years. Um, it's an amazing vice, and there's a lot of different parts to it, and You'll see where uh, there are several companies now that are manufacturing copies of these, and um, and there's one company still making the original. But um, uh, so there, the the type of vice is is uh, available, um, but uh, I'm not seeing any of the sort assortment of parts that I have. So I wanted to show them to you and explain this vice. I think this vice is a great vice to get, particularly if you can find um, the older ones or the additional. Uh, uh, appliances for it that I have here in front of me. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Um, it's an amazing vise that uh, just lifts right off and can be put on in several different ways, but we'll talk about that in a second. So here it is. Here are the pieces that I have. There's one extra down here. You can see this is the same as this. And I can mount this to a top of a bench if I want to. You see there's three holes for screws and here's the main support. And that's what all of these have in common. Um, and they will fit into either this hole or this hole, depending on the direction of the vise you want. Some of the other things here, you see I have this one mounted to the side. And so that vise can actually sit on the side of my bench and I can do work off side of the bench, offset. Now, um, that I, I found to be very useful. Um, this one here uh, will attach to almost anything and it'll change the direction because you can see that this is perpendicular to the shaft. So if that sits on one shaft, you can swivel. Um, the vise would be here and you could swivel it works very well and it's got a set screw here. It will fit onto any of them. So you see I could mount the vise here and I can angle it. Um, it's offset this way. You see it's deeper here than it is here because it needs that, uh, that dimension for this to work. It needs this distance for the vise to clear it in some cases. So if this is sitting on a table this way, the vise won't go underneath it because this shaft is too close to the table. In this instance here, you can see. But if you turn it upside down, now there's clearance to the table enough for this vise to slip underneath it. 
So if you're using it in conjunction with something else, you have that added height. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so this one mounts to a bench, three screws. This one here, the same way. Um, this one is an added swivel. And over here, you see, is this piece here. And I'll have to stop here and uh, tell you a little bit more about that piece. I'm not really sure what the name of this is, uh, other than it's a flush mount plate. Um, so uh, I can be using my table saw or something else across here and not worry about hitting this. But I can also use it, sometimes I'll use it as a stop because this piece here rises up when you need it. Um, there's a T-bar or an L below to catch it so it doesn't drop through. It's fairly simple. And, um, and there's a set screw on the side, an Allen screw, so you can set what height you want it to be. <coughs> I rarely use that set screw. What I do is I just use a block. And um, you can see you can see below here the L, and if I push this up and I put this block in here, it stays up at that height. If I want it to be lower, I can turn the block and it's only that height, and then I can use it as a bench stop. And I can make this board thinner and drop it down even more if I need to. It's, it's a very handy piece. So if I want to attach the vise to it, all I have to do is pull this up out of my way, push this up to where I want it, and drop it down. And then that is set to use. And if I loosen this up, pick up the vise, it disappears back into the bench. And I generally will keep that block there so I can use it as my stop. Now, I've shown you these attachments. There's one more that I haven't shown you, but I think you saw it earlier. And that was this piece. And this is the same shaft with a flat surface for the vise to sit on and pivot, but this mounts to a table. So I mount this to the side of my workbench when I want it in an odd place wherever I can, or it could, you know, for your sake, go kitchen counter, smaller bench, wherever you like. But um, this really enables you to take it onto a work site and uh, you could clamp it right onto a sawhorse and use your vise sideways this way. It's very versatile, so that's one more piece I wanted to show you in the collection. Now let's talk about the vise. Now, you see there's a hole here and a hole here. So these pieces will fit inside this way or this way, and that effecti effectively changes the direction of these jaws for you. They can be aimed down at the uh, bottom or they can be aimed across something else to support, whatever you can think of. But the way this works is really interesting. You can see there's the Wilbert Company VersaVice here. Um, let me bring you in a little closer so I can show you more. So here we are. You can see the, uh, the uh, Wilbert Company VersaVice and uh, Ohio here, and here are the jaws, and um, this is this pivot piece that you keep seeing it in the drawings, and I'll have to explain how that works, because it's probably the most uh, inventive thing about this vise. You see, there's no set screw, so when you put this vise on one of these, like that, there's nothing that locks it in, um, so this would pivot on you. So there's no, no pin, there's no, no way to do that except for this little device, which is really quite ingenious. Um, what happens is when this vise is under pressure, this way, it pushes this down in this direction. And there are two set screws in here that you can expand or uh, you can tighten up, and that would increase the pressure of this against this. You see, when it's open, now, it's not under the kind of tension that it would be if I clamped it against a board, but um, you can see that because it's down, it pushes down on this, which pushes down on the, uh, on the bearing surface of that uh, rod. So um, 
that's how it locks. And, uh, and when you open it and loosen it, this releases and it releases the tension on this and you can take this out and you can put it in this direction. So, um, an ingenious, an ingenious, uh, system for clamping this down and keeping it from revolving on you while you while you're using it otherwise it works basically like most other vices it has a little surface here that uh like an anvil type thing if you want to do some lightweight hammering i wouldn't do anything too extreme on it because i would be more worried about breaking this casting <coughs> but you see it just works like any other vice until this piece tightens let me show you some more this is the uh, bench top uh, piece that i was talking about mounting piece and i've mounted it to the side of the bench there as you can see and um i want to just show you a few things that you can do with this i keep a little wrench here so if i need to tighten uh, down this piece which i oftentimes will use in conjunction with this um, I'll explain that to you. So here's the, here's the vise, and it comes off like that, and it could be put on in this direction if I want, and, um, and then used with a board like this if I wanted to. I have this vise, so it, uh, it's my other vise, so it satisfies this need mostly. Also, this is higher than the bench, so Whatever I would clamp in here, if I wanted it to remain parallel out there, i just put a block on the bench. That being said, I oftentimes will use it in this direction. And, um, and it's hard for me to just come up out of the blue in my mind to tell you, uh, you know, to, to, to show you ways that I have used it. But maybe this will give you an idea. In this case, um, this would be something that I wanted to say work on the end. Of. Now I tighten that and this doesn't doesn't move. So if I wanted to shape something here I could I can loosen this a little bit And you see it starts to pivot I can bring it down and maybe set it on the uh, On the floor for support and hammer something if I wanted to um, so You have to figure out or use your imagination to decide what you think this could be useful for but um I found all different uses as I go along. Some project requires me to work at it one way or another, or sometimes if it's a box, I can mount the box in this way and then have it working on it over here. So I use it as an alternative. As uh, I'm gonna loosen this and um, take this off and let me show you this other piece. So, this piece is that offset that I showed you. And what I do with that is I put it here, and if I put it upright, and that's what the wrench is for, here for, I can just tighten this up, and then I could set the, uh, the vise on top of it this way if I wanted to, and use it sideways, or this way, either way. Or I can tilt this on any kind of angle, and then tighten it up. And um, now I can put my vise on this way if I wanted to. And put a board in here and um, tighten it up. It can be a little awkward if you're the only person working in the shop. I see it tightens up now. Now it doesn't move, but I have something in this position, which um, off the top of my head, I couldn't say why I'd want that, but maybe to plane down inside something or, you know, a lot of times I'm, I'm doing work on things that are sort of an odd shape and I want to get to a certain part, I can clamp it in this way and work on it up here. But uh, that shows you a nice, uh, nice setup of some of the things that you can do with it. Now, I don't have this one set on a bench at all yet because I don't really have another bench that I need it for. So I just sort of keep that as a reserve. And what I will do is when I want to use this vise, I'll use this part and I'll show you, I'll show you that next. So 
here we have some of the pieces um, and and I wanted to show you this clamp on one because it works very well this is pretty smooth but if I were working on some counter or something I would put something in between there but so here's the edge of my bench and I can just mount that easily to the edge like that and clamp it down and it clamps fairly quickly not a big deal and that's nice and sturdy so that supplies me with this same thing but instead of it being screwed to the bench this is just a, a quick attachment and if I wanted to mount this say to a 2x4 on a uh, on a sawhorse or something and I mounted it sideways, this would be going this direction. So if this is the sawhorse, I want this to be upright. I can just add this, and now this would be coming up. So uh, those two in conjunction with each other are, are great for on-the-job sort of work. Um, again, to put it on, you just flip this up so you're clear, and drop her in place. And you can pivot it around to whatever uh, position you want and here's my little sample board again and um, you can use it this way just simple like that it freezes when you tighten it um, if you need that part out of your way and you want to do it sideways this way clamp down held in place because of that system there. Um, now I can do some work here if I want to. Um, here I was doing some, uh, trying out some uh, new saws and things. Um, or I can take it and I can turn it and I can rest that on a bench and, um, and use it that way, nice and sturdy. Or again, take it up, turn it around, drop it in this position and work with something this way or straight up and down and um, quite ingenious really um, it's perfect for the the guy that has a lot of uh, work on the job site and, uh, and not necessarily a whole workbench you can put uh, different shaped pieces in here um, and it's got sort of a rest behind here, in here, that makes it sit nice and flat and then clamped. But the way this is um, sectioned off, it works very well to clamp something this way. Won't turn. Um, so here you see some other, uh, some other uh, setups that I've got and uh, positioning of things to hold. So here it is, the VersaVice. Now, as I said before, these are available today, and uh, there are different variations with the higher jaws and the shorter jaws. You can find it usually under uh, a name ParrotVice. 
where Parrot Vice came from, the, the, that name, I don't know. The original name was Versa Vice, and, um, and I've given you that history at the beginning of the uh, video. Um, all the new ones that I'm seeing, I don't know how well made they are or where they're made, so I'm not attesting to the quality of any of those. I am attesting to the quality of the original, if you can find those, or the older ones, and uh, with all these attachments that I talked about. So uh, whether you buy a new one or find one of the old ones, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get a lot of use out of it. I know I have, and um, I'm glad that you came into the shop today for me to share this with you. And I hope that uh, if you enjoyed it or you got something out of it that you'll not only uh, subscribe, but maybe you'll share the video uh, around so that other people can see it too. Uh, I, I just always enjoy this time with you guys, and uh, I enjoy sharing the information, and I hope you do too. Thanks for coming.